Guys, we have something incredible for you. Oh yeah, this is absolutely incredible. This is a yikes moment. So I was scrolling through Chinese propaganda as I usually do. Mm -hmm. I know I do this for you guys. Mm -hmm. So if you'd please like the, the video or stream, I'd really appreciate that because of how much we suffer through. In fact, yes. I had to suffer through this piece of shit video <laughs> that yes. got like 300 views called A Journey From Pole to Pole. And you can make whatever risque jokes you want about that. <laughs> sure. Okay. Sure. Or you can make it a joke about Polish people. You could do yeah, either yeah, one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But what this actually is, is a huge huge slap in the face to every country that is actually doing something about climate change yes and china tooting its own horn so here's the thing before we show you what this is really about we wanted to show you the video undoctored yes okay yes so we're gonna stay in here but we're gonna watch this together we want, we're not gonna pause it okay yes we're just gonna watch it we'll stay we'll silent. be in it we'll be in it yeah. yeah we'll stay silent but you have to watch you this have video. to see this crap and okay we'll show you why it's important yes okay so it's let's crazy let's do it this is from cgtn top tier chinese state media oh. okay let's see hi i am a polar bear take a picture okay <laughs> AI I love garbage. my home. Mm -hmm. It's a sparkling white wonderland. I have a lot of friends here. But I am not happy these days. <sighs> more and more human friends are coming to the Arctic. Oh, you've blown it out. Our no, snowy no. home is changing. Hey. It's not as white and clean as it used to be. This is my best friend, the little Arctic fox. I really miss the you days when we know. This is yeah, yeah, so yeah, good. Yeah, yeah. Trust let's, me. Let's see. Joyfully in the snow. But the sun is shouting. I'm so angry. Get ready for a roast, Earth. The ice is getting thinner and thinner every year. And my icy world seems to be melting away. Where can I go when there's no ice left? Help! No, no. Sea lion told me there's another place that's all white and snowy. It's called Antarctica. The book says it's too far to walk there. Guess what? I'm blasting off to Antarctica. My first impression of Antarctica is still the significant melting of ice. Hey, little polar bear! A group of penguins come to greet me. They offer to take me on a little Welcome tour. To our penguin colony. It makes me so sad to hear Antarctica is getting warmer, too. But their insights give me a lot to think about. Human civilization cannot advance without industry. Without refineries, cars wouldn't have... Hi! Okay, can you pause it there? I am a... Yeah. This is <clears throat> the worst idea the Chinese I, government I agree. could ever put Before out. Before you even say anything, this kind of video, when you watch it, you like feel bad. You're like, oh, you know what? <sighs> it's true. We should really do what we can to save the environment. Yeah. Look, look at the Arctic is being yeah. you know, really hurt. And yeah. you know, like the poor polar animals. And it makes you feel like you should be doing something yes. like as if the rest of the world really needs to be doing something. And China's telling you, they're yes. like, look at this problem. Everybody, you have to yeah. pay attention. You have to do something, yeah. right? Yeah. So it looks like China's the good guys here literally the worst thing they could have ever put out if but because we got our hands on it yes. are you ready for this yes all right let's okay. begin our presentation <clears throat> brace so, yourselves guys okay so this is a little polar bear. i'm a little polar bear take a picture okay Maybe you're supposed to feel bad oh crap you're supposed to feel bad for the polar bears because it's those dang westerners yes they keep Killing them with their stupid CO2 emissions. Oh, wait a second. Ah, crap. Well, polar bear hunting is commercially hunting. driven. A substantial rise in the skin prices resulting from increasing demand in China has transformed what was once a traditional subsistence hunt into a commercially driven international ah, business. crap. I guess... All right, we got the wrong guys. We got the wrong guys. Okay. It yeah. was China. That's China. Okay, let, let's see what's sorry, next. Sorry. Yeah. I love my home. It's a sparkling white wonderland. I have a lot of friends here, but I am not happy these days. Ooh. Can you read oh, this? Uh, China is also the biggest market of illegal traded snow leopards, so all the polar bear's friends are disappearing, like the snow leopard. Mm. And the end destination of several several global trade routes. Data indicates China is by far the largest number of snow leopards poached, 103 to 236 per year. These are China's snow leopard crimes. Recently, recent data investigation by wild, hashtag WildEyeAsia. 
So mm-hmm. there's actually a, a map we're going to teach you about in a little yeah. bit. But yeah. Continue. All right. <clears throat> yeah, let's continue a little Belt bit. Belt and Road is contributing to uh, the absolute sheer explosion of illegal animal poaching, by the way. Oh, absolutely. Which, In Africa, they did that. Yes. Um, so there's this map here. It's uh, down below. A- actually, every single thing we cited is down in the description. Yes. So you can read about every little piece of data we're going to show you. Yeah. Um, this map will actually, you're, you can explode each thing and show that China is not only the largest animal poacher and illegal animal trader in the world, it's by a magnitude of like hundreds. Yeah. Absolutely. It's all because of TCM. Yeah, and and, and Traditional greed. Chinese medicine. Yeah, of course. Anyway, let's continue because it gets better, guys. It gets way better. More and more human friends are coming to the Arctic. <gasps> ah, crap. I think that's China, actually. Mm. China's making all these new Arctic deals, and they're not joining the uh, sustainable Arctic agreements. They're trying to build all these bases there. They're trying to do it themselves. Yeah. So they don't, they don't have to follow regulation. Mm-hmm. Actually, it's one of the main goals of the Chinese government is to have Arctic Presence. So yeah. what Mr. Polar Bear is saying is that China is, as a government, is coming into the Arctic. Yes, that's what he meant. More and more people. Yeah. yeah. What's going on next? Our snowy home is changing. Ooh. Ah, crap! You mean the Polar Silk Road? Mm-hmm. Yes. Uh, the Polar Silk Road is a military alliance between Russia and China that is literally going to take advantage. They have a road map. Mm-hmm. Go ahead and uh, the next picture to take advantage of the uh, uh, road that they're building through the Arctic so that they can have a presence in the Arctic and they want it to melt. Yeah, they do. We'll see soon. Uh, so he, the Mr. Polar Bear was upset about, about all pollution, the pollution. Like things are changing, yeah. Uh, let's see. Newly published research traces lead pollution in Alaska and the Arctic in, to industry in China, all mm. the way down in China, where China's nowhere near the Arctic, by the way. Yeah. A lead ad- additive ban enacted in 2001 has had little impact, according to data analyzed by assistant professor of geology, Bess Kaufman. And that's the problem. You know, uh, developed countries put bans for certain chemicals, but China won't... Uh, won't abide by these bans because it's cheaper to just use the banned stuff. Adam Kahn has a very good point. In this polar bear video, China's literally telegraphing their crimes. That's it. And that's what they always do. Yeah, they do. They like, you know, pretend it's like someone who steals from the cookie jar and they're like, you shouldn't steal from the cookie yeah. jar. Yeah, you know? over and over again. Yeah, but they keep yeah. doing it. Yeah. Let's see what's next. This is my best friend, the little Arctic fox. You gotta feel bad I really about miss that. the days when we played joyfully in the snow. Crap. Ooh, China imported over 2,000 Arctic foxes for the fur industry. Ah, oh, crap. And also is the one of the leading consumers of Arctic fox pelts yeah. in the world. So China, you know, you missed the days you played with your Arctic fox friend you, because you killed them all. Because China took it and skinned it. Yeah. That's why. Yeah. Because there's a huge demand for the Arctic fox fur in China. I mean, come because on, China. What are you doing? Why did you put this why video did you put this out? You, it's just... It's so... It's a no ex- you. You're exposing your crimes. <laughs> yes. You're just exposing your damn crimes against the environment and the world. Okay, what's next? But the sun is shouting. I'm so angry. Get ready for a roast, Earth. The ice is getting thinner and thinner every year. And my icy world seems to be melting away. Ooh! Oh, China's air apocalypse linked to Arctic sea ice loss. <sighs> yes. I mean, you know what's crazy? What? Before we even finish this, I didn't know half of this stuff until this video came out. Yeah. I literally didn't know. Yeah. Just you just look up their claims. They're like, oh, yes. it's it's melting. Why? You look, why is the Arctic ice mighty against like China? Yes. Mm. Why are the Arctic and I learned, foxes? I'm so much more equipped yeah. to have an argument now. Yeah, exactly. Where can I go? To the CGTN. <laughs> yeah, yo, where can I go when there's no there's ice no left? There's no ice left. Help! 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 Ooh! <laughs> China's ready to cash in on a melting Arctic. Remember, this video yeah. is supposed to make you feel guilty as a Westerner or yeah. an English speaker that your country didn't do enough and now these polar bears are going to die and drown. Correct. So they have this appeal to emotion propaganda. Yeah, but yeah, China is yeah. the one doing it. No, quite clear. This is the, the China's, uh, Chinese Navy's doctrine. Go yeah. to the next thing. I'll read a quote from it. Okay. Is actually getting ready and excited to take advantage of a completely melted Arctic. 
Well, what does it say? It says China is paying increasing attention to the consequences of the melting of the ice in the Arctic Ocean as a result of climate change. The prospect of the Arctic being navigable during summer months, leading to, to both shorter shipping routes and access to untapped energy resources, has impelled the Chinese government to allocate more resources to Arctic research. Chinese officials have also started to think about what kind of policies would help China benefit from an ice-free Arctic <laughs> environment. Yeah. China is at a disadvantage because it's neither an Arctic literal state, it has no Arctic coast and no sovereign rights to underwater continent, continental shelves, nor an Arctic Council member state with the right to participate in the discussion of Arctic policies. Despite its seemingly weak position, China can be expected to seek a role in determining the political framework and legal foundation for future Arctic activities. They quite literally want it to be They melted. want it to melt so that they can go steal the gas and but, oil reserves. How, what a slap in the face is this stupid polar bear crap. I know. They're the ones killing the polar bear. The little polar bear. It's not cool. It's not cold either. Sea lion told me there's another place that's all white and snowy. <laughs> <laughs> Can you read some of those? Sure. Children horrified as sea lion bullied by Hunan Zoo trainer. Rise in poaching of spotted seals poses threat to maritime ecosystems. Sea lion abuse lingers in China's animal performance industry. Yeah. Again. I learned something new. Yeah. Yes. Sea lions have a hard time in China, that's for sure. Well, but not according to Mr. Polar Bear. Mm, yeah. China's a savior. Oh, absolutely. I wonder what's next. What's this going to give us It's called Antarctica. The book says it's too far to walk there. Guess what? I'm blasting off to Antarctica. My first impression of Antarctica is still the significant melting of ice. It's your fault. Ooh. Yep. Uh, oh, wait a second. Yeah, uh, again, yes, China's emissions <laughs> contribute to global warming, which is causing Antarctica China, to melt. China's emissions exceed all developed nations combined. <laughs> yes, exactly. There we oh, go. Shoot. Mm. Maybe that's your fault, China. Ah, yeah, maybe. What's next? Little polar bear! A group of penguins come to greet me. They offer to take me on a little Welcome tour. To our <laughs> China blocks moves to step up protection of emperor penguins. China ruins Antarctic treaty attempt to enact special protection status for emperor penguins. China blocks moves to increase protection of emperor penguins. I could... So, when I did this... Yeah. I wanted to find one thing that I was like, you know what, China did something good there. Yeah, because they're like, all oh, these penguins are coming. Yeah. And then it's like, China is making sure that they get wiped out. Yes. On a legal basis. They're like, other, there's a treaty and they're like, we've got to save this China. We need your signature. We need to make a, like a deal here so these penguins can be saved. And China's like, no. <laughs> We're actually going to prevent these yes. penguins from being saved. I told you this polar bear video was the worst thing they could have ever made. That's China top state media put yes. that out. Yes. And CTTN. now we have put out many more views Probably times, a hundred times more views than that got to show the truth. Yeah, I mean, it's ridiculous. So thank you. Thank you. What's next here? It makes me so sad to hear Antarctica is getting warmer, too. <laughs> Greenhouse gas emissions by percent. China just destroys the entire world. 20% of the whole world. Mm -hmm. Of the 27%. whole world. Yeah. It doesn't matter. World. You could say whatever you want about per capita. The Earth doesn't, doesn't matter. care about no. per capita. No, the globe, of course not. This is what Mother Earth says. Picture Mother Earth. She's like, hmm. Per capita? That's a bit lower. Yeah. I, I'm not so bothered. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. Know? Yeah. And that per capita argument's nonsense anyway, because, you know, a huge percentage of Chinese population is very poor. Yes. And doesn't They're put out any... They're not contributing anything. Anything. Yeah. Um, 600 million people are contributing almost nothing. Yeah, exactly. Know? But it's like the state-owned enterprises. <laughs> yeah. Big steel factories and whatever else that are putting out... Oh, you don't want to do that. You don't want to do that per capita figure. No, no. You'll be, you'll be shocked. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. I have decided to become an environmental advocate and call on people to protect our shared home. Let's make the sky bluer, the grass greener, and the poles whiter. How rich is this? Yeah. How rich is this? Our planet, our future. Just rip through the next thing. Okay. Just want to remind everyone, China's responsible of 95% of new coal power construction. 95 percent of the world's new new coal power construction That's the rest of the world's literally making so it all the whole go away. world is five percent china is yes. 95 the whole world entire world india yep. russia big countries yeah. the u.s mm -hmm. five percent five percent u.s is actually declining yeah most developed countries are declining yes. they're De decommissioning power but plants you as a westerner were supposed to feel really bad about that because your country's not doing enough yeah, China is doing more. 
They're like, this is what they want. They want the rest of the world to feel bad and and like scale down while they take advantage of that yes. and just like see see we're the good guys. Quickly build another ten million power plants and burn more coal. China is building six times more new coal plants than other countries. Mm -hmm. Six times. Yeah. You're supposed to not do any now. Yeah. China's by far the world's largest greenhouse gas polluter. Look at it compared to the U.S. Not yeah. even close. And yep. the U.S. is on a decline. Yeah. And uh, <clears throat> China's on an, uh, an increase, of course. I like how they... Prediction. It's always, predict the it's always like, oh, yeah, it's like whatever. We will be lower. That's how they get away with all this. Exactly. Don't worry. We will, we will. cap it off we'll eventually. Figure it out. We'll yeah, we'll keep rising up. We'll keep adding. Yeah. And one day we'll stop adding, you know? It's ridiculous. Total greenhouse gas emissions in billion metric tons of carbon dioxide equivalent per year. It's the China whole world combined. China is just absolutely insane. It's the whole world yeah, combined. It is. It's more than the entire world. United States, India, European Union, rest of the world, China's by far the largest. <clears throat> Total greenhouse gas emissions in 2022. I just want people to have a very clear image of all this stuff. Have yeah. a very clear image in your head whenever you hear that China is the global leader in green technology. Yeah, because, I mean, they might build a bunch of solar panels, Doesn't matter. but they pollute at the same time. You know what I mean? It's like it, it's like a, a mass murderer that, mm. like, also raises Donates puppies or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And you're like, he's okay because he, he raises some puppies. He's a rescue dog. Meanwhile, he, like, you know, he kills adult dogs, yeah. but he just rescues puppies. Yes. So everyone's like, oh, he's good. Oh. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like, that's not how it works. No, no. Yeah. What's next? How China, the world's top polluter, avoids Great paying article. for climate damage. Great article, yeah. by the way. It's fantastic. It's about how uh, the UN still considers it a developing economy, so it gets away with all this crap. Yeah. We planted our future, guys. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah, I talk studio. Wow. That's an eye opener. There's a big oof. A big oof from CGTN. Yes. Dumbest thing you could have ever released. Agreed. It's so bad. Mm. We had to we had to show you. Yeah. Okay. So all now, sources are down below. Yeah, you can go look. All those articles are linked down below if you wanted to go take a squiz. <laughs> oh, that's sick. <laughs> 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 I'm struggling to find a use for this. Yeah, that that'll go. just actually kill you. <laughs> you know what? Yeah, you're right. People that are afraid of needles, yeah. this is the antidote. <laughs> Again, you shoot them. Fix another piece. Oh. That locks you away. What is it? Oh, it's like a water dispenser. And there's a little generator, and then he it can charge his phone. phone. The chili's got to my throat. <laughs> that, that image with that subtitle the is The chili's very got to my good. throat. Yeah. When I close my eyes, I can almost see it. Mm. When I take a breath, you fill up my lungs. Yeah. And if my mind...